Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this is your weekly oracle card guidance and you can ask any question you would like and the answers that will come from this uh, from these decks will be the answer that you need. All right. So take a moment to focus and decide what it is, which deck it is that you'd like to choose. We have three decks here. Um, the first deck is this one. Then we have the second deck here and the third. You may pause the video if you'd like to um, take a moment longer to choose. I'm going to go ahead and uh, begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the deck number one, what is the answer to your question? Okay, we have the rooster. So these cards are read um, with with their backs, uh, basically. They read, if they are uh, black, they have a, a particular meaning. And if they are white, we have back white background, they have a different meaning. But I'm going to read them the way that I read them or the way that I feel guided to read it. So basically... I'm going to channel a message message for you. Uh, so it, yes, I do know that there is another way of reading these cards, just so you know about that. So we have the rooster here. And the, the first thing I'm hearing is that it's okay to dream. It's okay to actually dream in whichever way that you got, that you feel like dreaming. It's okay to have many dreams. It's okay to actually understand all of your impulses. It's okay to be uh, multifaceted or to have varied interests. It's okay to be unsure of what it is that you need to do next. It's okay to be in a dreamy state or to, to allow yourself to be in a dreamy state. And that this is actually where what the space right now that you're going to be in or that it's it's basically okay to be in the state. As It's kind of like saying to you, it's all right. You don't need to be worried about the fact that you have too many plans, or you don't know how to manifest it, or you don't know how to bring it to fruition. Uh, you need to listen more. So the other thing, that's the next message here. You need to hear more. You need to be more uh, aware of what's being said around you. And uh, also be being able to read between the lines, um, being able to understand the subtext. Okay, so it's almost as if there's more going on here than you actually think there is. And it's important for you to understand everything that's going on. So when you uh, surrender your emotions or your individuality or who you are to, and you just allow yourself to be and you allow yourself to listen carefully, then you wouldn't have an emotional response to what you're hearing. And this will allow you to be able to see the, the situation from another's perspective as well. But it's important for you to hear, okay, because... There's some things that you're missing right now that is relevant to you. And just if you just spend the next two to three days listening carefully and speaking less, uh, you will hear or you will see what your messages are. So there are messages coming through to you which you aren't able to hear or see because it's too busy or you have too much going on. Or perhaps you are in a dreamy state and you're just not able to let that come through. Um, the other thing I'm hearing here is that your root may be, uh, what is that, a little fruit fly, <laughs> pardon. Um, so your root might be, your root, your lifelong journey might be that which is other, okay? So it's not, it's okay not to fit in. It's okay to choose a completely um, off the track path, you know, it's okay to go off the unbeaten path path and you will you, you will find your way the thing that is important here is for you to actually make sure that you're doing whatever is in accordance with your soul and with your essence so uh you might have been trying to fit into the uh, the way of living that is almost expected of you or the way of living that others have uh beside you your neighbors or what, what people generally expect from you. But what I'm hearing here is that 
you have to forge your own path. And yes, maybe no one would, that you know has done what you, what you need to do, but you need to be able to forge your own path and you need to be able to do so with your own unique abilities and your own unique desires and, and impulses as well. So that word is coming up quite strongly. I'm getting like desires and impulses. Um, so it's like, Allow these impulses to take root. Allow these impulses to mean something to you beyond just a floating idea. Um, what I'm hearing here is that also, so like I'm giving you quite a few messages here and may not, may, not all of them may actually um, suit you, but there are, I, I hope that one or two of them would resonate with you. So at least something would resonate with you. So what I'm about to say may not resonate with everyone here, but um, you might have tried many times. So you might be making many false starts. You might be trying and, and feeling like you failed and then trying again and feeling like you failed again or just not being able to get off, you know, not being able to spring back into action or not being able to uh, make any headway. And this might be going on for some time. It might be going on for years for some of you or some months or at least a couple of years. And it's saying here that, you know, don't see this as false starts or as failure. Just basically focus on what it is that you want and and go for it it's going to be it's going to to happen and it's not a pie in the sky it's not pie in the sky whatever it is that you're dreaming about it's not too big for you and it's not too overwhelming for you it's something that is actually within your grasp it's just waiting for you to take that action have you been afraid to actually take that action have you been afraid have you been postponing it have you been pushing it off have you been saying okay I'll do that when that happens or I will follow my dreams or do whatever it is that I desire when I'm uh, this age or when I have this amount of money or when I live in this type of place or in this kind of neighborhood and um, what I'm hearing here is that you really just need to take your life back in your own hands and do what it is that you desire you're not too old or too young to do what it is that you desire and yes you might not fit in any longer but that's okay because the only thing that's important here is that you're true to yourself and that you live what you desire and that you live your life's passion and actually not doing that is an injustice to you it is harming you and it's not important it's not a priority to fit in or to integrate or to be a part of a certain community or a certain world or a nation it's important for you to forge your own reality and to move ahead with what you know and feel is right for you all right so that is your message for you for those of you who've chosen this card here um, this week and this deck of cards for those of you who've chosen these this deck here the question we're asking this week is what is it that you need to know at this moment or what is the answer to the question that you have at this moment? So the card is the loop. And I feel like the last time I used this deck of cards for this channel, I also got this card here. It's funny how that happens. I feel that it happens because a lot of you are in the same space and needing to hear the same messages. Um, yeah, so basically here we have the loop, all right? So the first thing that need that comes to mind here, or the first thing that I need to say speak about, is that you need to understand that every action that you take has a reaction, an equal and opposite reaction. So Newton's third law. Every action that you take has an equal and opposite reaction. So what is it that you're doing right now? And how is it impacting those around you? And how will it come back to impact you later? Think about it and think about the consequences in the long term. Don't deny yourself the reality. Don't feel deluded. Basically, understand the consequences, not just in terms of your own thinking or your own reality, but understand the consequences for all concerned. It's asking you here as well to see 
the other person's reality, to put yourself in their shoes, to understand that their reality may be yours at some point, and that whatever you think is not yours at this moment may indeed become yours in the future. This goes for things that are positive as well as negative. I'm hearing you hear as well that it's important to come back on track. It's important to fall in line with that of, of divine nature. So the urgings that you have or the, the impulse that you have to move in a certain direction, you need to hear it or, and adhere to it. You need to heed it. And that it's important for you to come back in harmony with nature or come back in harmony with the earth cycles or the rhythms of, of nature. So this may refer to your sleep patterns, like your circadian rhythms, or it might refer to some other kind of rhythm. Um, so, you know, maybe look at it because I feel like here it, it speaks to many different things for different people. Uh, so if you've been using uh, drugs or alcohol, to come into a different space, you perhaps need to take a, a break from that or, or pause it or just basically stop it for a while or permanently in order to be able to allow yourself to fall back into the rhythms of life. So this rhythms of life is actually, it's because you're not in, in, in harmony with nature or the, in sync with the rhythms of life, the energy rhythms that you are being led off the path. Uh, and it feels very much linked to this message that I've given you now about it actually about what, what you're putting out there is going to come back. Because what I feel is that for, for a few of you, it's going to come back and hurt you. It's like a boomerang. And it's so the message is really, really take a look at yourself and see where it is that you're impacting others negatively. Now, I'm not saying that you all are impacting others negatively. Sometimes when you impact yourself negatively, it impacts the greater collective because we are all connected. We are all part of one. And everything that we do to ourselves is also hurting all of those around us, even if we're doing it in isolation in our own homes away from others, even if others don't hear about it or don't see it. It's the energy that you hold within you. It's that vibration that you actually embody that it's reaching us all. So where is it that you are being unkind to yourself? And how is this going to impact you later? Or how is this impacting those around you? The last thing I want to say with regard to this card is that if you continue to do the same things over and over again, you are going to have that same result and you're going to stay in a certain pattern, in a certain loop, so to say. And this is not going to yield the result that you require. So if it is that you want something outside of what you have right now, then it's important for you to change the course of action that you have been taking and that you are prone to take. So I feel that the energy that is actually, the energy that you need to change this course of action is around you. You just simply need to tap into it. You simply need to be able to ask for the help and see it, recognize it. I feel that you don't recognize it and that it's something that you don't really see uh, or you don't even know that it's there, but it's all around you right now and supporting you. It will support whatever action you take. Tread carefully and be cognizant of the actions that you take and the results thereof. All right, so that was your message this week. Quite a somber message. I thank you for coming by and I wish you all the best. For those of you who've chosen the third option here, the question we're asking this week is, what is it that you need to know right now? And what is the answer to your question? 
very often what it is that you need to know right now is the answer to your question. There we are. So we have paradise here. Paradise. Okay, so what I'm hearing here is it's somehow like a message that came up um, as country in the previous reading. So I didn't speak it in the previous reading because they were saying to me it's not like this. And I was trying to focus on what it is like at the time. And But basically what, what this is saying to me is it is exactly that. So I don't know if you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, but basically the, the what I'm hearing right now is that you were in, if you are feeling a bit angsty or a bit um, kind of un, unsettled or a bit uh, uncomfortable in your space, wherever it is that you are, if you seek changes or you yearn for a different environment, uh, that you need not because it's important for you to first understand that the paradise that you seek is actually within you and that you can't really create this outside of you if you don't already have it inside of you. And the way in which you can measure if you have created inside of you or if you have it inside of you, if you can create it at all, is by looking at your current set of circumstances and be in paradise with that. So as an example, if you are staying in a place and you are hoping to leave soon, uh, you are unhappy with your hotel or your the place that you're staying at, that you're boarding at, or your home, and you want to move, you want to actually change as soon as possible. It's important for you to actually take a step back and enjoy and be in the moment and actually understand that right now, even if you're a refugee, even if you are going through a horrible disease and you are suffering and in pain, you can actually conjure up that which is paradise within you and be connected to that. It is only within you. It doesn't, it doesn't come from outside of you. It doesn't come from the world beyond. It doesn't come from a certain sofa or couch or from a certain house or from a type of car. It comes from a feeling that you have within you. And it's important for you to be able to feel that right now within your circumstances and to be able to conjure up that feeling inside of you. So sit with yourself and feel what it feels like to have the vibration of paradise. And you need not be critical or judgmental about your surroundings or about your situation. You simply need to tap into that energy, which is paradise, to be able to feel that. And when, once you are able to do that, you will understand that things start shifting and changing and moving. And you might, in fact, have your answer. You might actually have your query be answered in your favor. Yeah, I'm feeling here once again, it's like paradise is what you make from it. You know, it is what it is, what it is that you dream of, what it is that you desire. I'm also hearing that you're at a stage right now where the paradise that you create is only that uh, which is yours. It's not a responsibility of anyone else to create that. It's completely yours. And you have the freedom to be able to do that. So this card, the essence or the vibration of this card is about that, is that feeling, the vibration of paradise. And the other is of freedom, the freedom to be able to create that paradise. So it's almost like here, this number 21 that we have here. It's, it, or maybe as I read it as a 21, but maybe it means it's a symbol for something else. Um, it's almost as if, this is saying, well, you are like, you know, you have the freedoms that you would have as a 21 year old. You can do whatever it is that you desire. You simply need to be responsible with what it is, or you need to simply know what it is that you desire. And, but it's, it's not all about desire here. It's simply about extracting that hurt and pain from yourself. And one of the ways in which you can do it is by replacing it with the paradise, with this feeling of paradise. And it's like you can, you don't need to, you know, have something good happen to you. You can create this reaction within yourself by laughing, by doing some laughing therapy, 
or by feeling good about something within yourself, something like an, a memory may conjure up this feeling again of being in paradise or being in bliss. And so you can actually create this from within yourself. And this is the, the crux of this message. Create that vibration of paradise within yourself. You have the freedom to do it. Okay, so that's your message for those of you who've chosen this deck here. Yes, that sounds like a really nice thing to do, right? Just be able to conjure up your paradise and and partake from it. Um, I was completely in a trance while doing these readings this week. So I actually forgotten completely what these messages were about. But um, I hope these messages resonated. I hope they've been useful. And I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead. Many, many blessings uh, to all of you. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.